Good day all. Thought I'd join the earth battery DIY thread here and show you my progress. Uh, I have here some felspar crystals that I picked up and mixed them with just enough uh, Portland. And what you got, this is what you have. You can't see it. Just enough Portland to make it uh, kind of a spongy sort of electrolyte. And to that electrolyte, I added some uh, potassium hydroxide. I settled out for some wood from some wood ashes, and you can see it's a pretty good, pretty good mix there. And to make the cell, I just wound some copper around a piece of PEX and drilled a 3 8 hole in a 3 quarter cap and this is some uh, 3 quarter aluminum IMC and I made several of them of different components but this seems to be the most workable and it will power the the Bedini circuit and we're with some brightness you can see it's pretty bright there and it's holding its own it's still pretty wet. I expected to pick up a little more, a little more power as the uh, as it dries out some. But the beauty about this is you can you can add more uh, potassium hydroxide as the cell begins to dry out to kind of refresh it. And the aluminum in the uh, the aluminum silicate in the uh, felspar reacts with the uh, potassium hydroxide to make a sort of like a, a mush with the Portland and I think it's going to work out pretty well. One of the unique things about it also is that it will take a charge. I can charge this up slightly. It won't charge really well because of the uh, nature of the of what you have because it's pretty wet and it uh, starts to starts to uh, boil really quickly in its normal state. But right now we're sitting at about 1.9 volts and the amperage is somewhere around uh, 1, maybe 10 mil. And um, I'm going to charge it up slightly and you can see that it will go on up and stay charged. I'm going to hit it with about a, this is capable of 10 amps, but I know it's going to take quite a bit of that. It's going to run up to 6 or 7 before it starts to boil there. And then whenever it comes up, it takes, that's about 1.5, and it'll hold it. You see it doesn't discharge too fast, and whenever it dries out, I hope that it'll discharge even less. A good day to y'all. It's uh, once again it's felspar. Got some aluminum uh, IMC and wound copper wire around wound around some pecs. Stuck it through three quarter pipe. Thanks.